The thing that surprised me most about Sierra Leone, well, the hard thing is, is that everything surprised me about Sierra Leone. When you grow up in the United States, you have a certain perception of Africa, and even learning about Sierra Leone before we came, I still wasn't um, as aware about the effects of the war and Ebola um, as much as we learned on the trip. So I guess the things that surprised me the most are just how resilient the people are and what they have had to deal with in the past years and how they're still so positive and have a good outlook on life. One of the most exciting things that we got to do was do a lot of really cool things in nature. Um, so we got to see monkeys in real life. We tried to find um, crocodiles, but actually I guess in a good way we didn't find any. Um, just being in such a different environment than the Midwest was super exciting and getting to see things that you've only ever seen in zoos before. I guess one of the most interesting things that I learned is just basically everything. Um, I've been talking with a lot of the other kids that went on the trip and we just say that you really can't look at anything the same as before you went on the trip. Just how people live their lives day to day and the different culture is just so interesting and so different that I can't really pick one thing. We had the opportunity to travel to eight local villages and present farmer um, education videos as like a pilot program for video extension. I think that um, doing the videos did actually help, although we didn't reach um, too many villages, like eight isn't um, a lot in the grand scheme of things. Knowing that this was like a great way to bring a community together and educate them is really valuable, especially because now the AgReach program can pursue other grants and use this in the future um, in even more of a widespread way. I think what I will remember the most on the trip was the awesome other students that I got to travel with. We all became really, really close friends and we have hung out actually every week that we've been back since school. Um, going through such a life-changing experience like visiting um, Sierra Leone has really made us all very close and trusting of each other and I will always remember um, what it was like having them to talk to um, about what we were going through and what we were experiencing. Overall, I may be a little biased, but I think that this is the best study abroad program that the University of Illinois has to offer. It's unlike any other program that we have. It's so much more than just going to the bars in Europe. It's really an experience that will alter your perspective way more than even going on a trip to Africa looking at animals or going to, to um, South Africa, like this is the real deal and it was an amazing experience. Hi, my name is Riley Maloney and this is a self-reflection video about what I learned from traveling to Sierra Leone, Africa. So. The most surprising thing to me from traveling to Africa was probably just how natural it felt to be in a country I've never been to, um, I've never been outside the country in general, and going to Africa just felt like so at home to me. Um, I loved all the people that I met. I learned so much from them. I loved the people I went on the trip with. All the challenging things that we did throughout the trip just felt like second nature to me, which is very interesting, and I loved every single minute of it. What was most challenging about the trip was probably all the aspects of having to camp outside and um, experience, experience the wilderness of it all. Um, we had to take bucket showers, we had to sleep and shower with tarantulas, um, we saw hippos and monkeys, and to me that was all very outside my comfort zone, which I really am happy that I got to do. Also, something that was really challenging was the absence of time being uh, very rushed. Um, in Sierra Leone, time is very slowed down, things um, are not expected to come out. A super fast or go by super fast so having to realize that we had to be flexible on the trip was something to adjust to and to be that was a little challenging but I really liked it and I got to kind of be more patient and calm and tranquil. What did I learn? 
The most important thing I learned was um, something about myself. I learned that I um, am a lot more confident and a lot more capable than I could ever imagine. And I'm very lucky I was able to go on a trip that brought me outside my comfort zone and made me realize that. I was also surrounded by 10 very amazing people and I realized that they made me value myself even more and that I need to surround myself with people who do um, value me and make me feel like I can do anything uh, that I set my mind to. So that was really amazing. The last thing is just something that I will remember from this trip would be definitely the people. Um, the students that I went on the trip with are still very close friends of mine and I'm so glad that I was able to travel on the trip with them specifically. Um, also, I would say that I'll always remember the ocean. This was my first time going to the ocean and it was amazing. We got to go snorkeling and see fish in the coral reefs and I, I, I that was the best uh, way to experience the ocean for the first time is going to Sierra Leone, Africa. In all, I would just say that if you want to study abroad, if you want to go someplace, even if it's not Africa, I would say do it um, because I wanted to go to Africa since I was 14 years old and I'm now 20. And when I saw this opportunity, I couldn't not do it. And I'm so glad that I was finally able to go. And I was terrified, not maybe because of the experience itself, but I was terrified of, oh, am I not gonna be able to afford it? Am I not gonna be able to, I don't know, just like a bunch of things that were, didn't even make sense, but in my head I was, they were stopping me from going to Africa. So I'm glad that I finally got to do it. Go do the thing that scares you and you should study abroad.